take a look at downtown hole five. This is one where you're going to want a big bomber off of the tee, and for me, that's going to be the Glide Skip Rive. Uh, if you don't have that, Glide Skip Ballista Pro will work also, and you can purchase one of those. And um, the other thing is, uh, this is one where the wind is a big factor in the drive. I always slide to the left and bring the chevrons down to about here. But then I have to decide how much I'm going to adjust on the release angle based on the wind. And also how aggressive I'm going to try to be on this corner right here. Uh, because this fence, if you don't know, inside this fenced in area where the Ferris wheel is, uh, that's all OB. So... Uh, and you don't need to be super aggressive, but you don't want to be way out here either because then your second shot becomes really, really long, challenging. So um, with a three wind out of the left, uh, I just know from experience that I'm going to need at least a disc worth of Anheuser on the forehand here. So let's try that and see how that works out. About a disc worth or so, maybe a little more. Um, and then you just got to kind of hope that you don't smack into anything here. And I got lucky there. Missed the tree and that pole. And that's a nice position for the second shot. And then the second shot, I will usually go light glide. But with a three wind, I'm going to go glide roll actually. Because it's going to really carry that disc close enough to the basket. I think where I can get a, an eagle look without risking going too long. Oh, I don't smack that tree. Yeah, see, if I'd used the light glide, that would have definitely have gone OB uh, to the left there. And we got 48 feet with a three, so something like that. So, nice little eagle. And uh, this is a good eagle to get. You kind of want to get it. I want to get some different winds, too. Let me get a different wind, and I'll be right back. All right, so here we have the three wind out of the right, uh, a little tiny bit of headwind component to it. So one of the more adverse wind conditions, if not the most adverse wind condition for this hole. Going to make Eagle tough, but let's, let's see what we can get anyway. Uh, so here I'm going to still slide to the left. This time I'm going to bring my chevrons in a little bit because uh, this wind is going to really want to push me right. I think I can challenge this corner a little bit by bringing them in. And then I'm going to pull straight back. Uh, and let's see what we can get here. Hang in there. Hang in there, baby. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> so now let's see. We're still not out of the woods because we've got a three headwind 500 feet away to the basket. So I'm going to go with the light glide and just see if I can get close. And that headwind's going to push me to the right which is why I came to the left a little bit uh, so not bad pretty good effort so far 67 feet away to the eagle uh, it's probably 10 feet up but the three winds going to pretty much take me 10 feet down so I'm going to guess this is going to play right at 70 let's try it and see Backed off just a little bit at the last second. So uh, so that was a good eagle to get in that wind. So uh, I'll put in here my general guidelines on the release angle adjustments on the wind. And remember, they're general. Uh, this is one you need to practice and just get experience on. It's, uh, it's a tough hole, um, but you can get the eagle on it. So I uh, hope you learned something, and we'll see you around the valley.